hi viewers welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel in this tutorial I am going to explain you how to create stay connection in Tecla structures just like this okay let's start open your Tecla structures with US environment now we're going to create beam so click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam like this okay now we're going to create C parling channel so click on first point at the middle of this grid and pick the second point right here to create the initially you will get this i section profile but we required c perlin so right click on mouse interrupt now double click on this beam now click on here and select perlin c by default you will get here c 8 by 11.5 standard profile but we require light gauge profile so click on here profile catalog and minimize it and maximize this light gauge profile and under C section and let's take 800 by this profile then select this profile and then click on apply ok then click on Morphe to see the result you can see now we have C profile like this now we're going to change the color of this Perlin. so click on here and say let's take class 2 then click on Morphe to see the result you can see this Perlin should be at the top of this beam so at depth select this front then click on Morphe to see the result like this then click on close this window then click on space right click on mouse redouble ok use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point at here now you can rotate like this now we're going to create stay uh, between this bottom beam to this parallel so right click on must interrupt now click on this application components you can use the shortcut control f also and in such a word type number 10 and scroll it down you will get this stay number 10 component so select this component and pick the main part as a parallel and pick the secondary part as a beam close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw you can see initially you won't get any connection just you will get like this now we are going to edit this connection to create a stay so right click on mouse interrupt now double click on this component symbol or you can click on this plate also double click on it you will get window like this now we are going to change the length uh, let's take uh, from beam to top perlin connection length let's take here two feet initially then click on modify then go to the parts tab in parts you need to give the stay profile to create the connection at here so click on here profile catalog and go to the L profile and let's take L 4 by 4 by let's take 2 and off so click on the maximize this L 2 and off 2 and off by 1 by 4 inch then click on apply ok click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the connection like this but we require this connection on other side uh, so click on stay tab and now we are going to change the uh, this connection on other side click on here and select this option then click on modify to see the result on other side ok you can see you will get like this ok now we are going to adjust this connection uh, between purling to stay so click on here connection purling now we are going to change the thickness of this plate so let's take here thickness right click on mouse interrupt then select this connection then enter here thickness of this plate here you need to enter here millimeters uh, in this component option we have uh, given in the millimeter option so you need to enter here units or millimeters so enter here 5 millimeters then click on modify to see the result you can see now the thickness of this uh, plate should be 5 millimeter 
if you want to increase you can increase from here let's take 10 millimeter then click on modify you can see now this plate should be 10 millimeter by default we record only 5 millimeter so if I and enter modify you'll get like this you can control the width and the length of this plate also for example we require the width 85 millimeter and uh, length also 85 millimeter then click on modify you can see now width and length should be 85 millimeters these units are in metric so you need to enter here in units in millimeter don't enter in inches these are not feet and inches these are metric units so you need to enter here in millimeter you can adjust this uh, bolt uh, at the middle of this plate so uh, now we're going to rotate this one a little bit so pick the rotation point and you can rotate like this now right click mouse interrupt and select this connection plate now this uh, bolt should be at the middle of this plate so click on here and select this option to place the bolt at middle and then click on modify to see the result you can see now this bolt should be at the middle of this plate now we can adjust the spacing also from top of purlin to this bolt uh, so click on here and let's take 35 millimeter between uh, bottom purlin to first bolt distance so click on modify to see the result you can see now from edge of this purlin to first bolt distance should be 35 millimeter and the width and length of the plate should be 85 millimeter according to this option and the thickness of this plate should be 5 millimeter according to this option okay next go to connection rafter uh, these options for the connection between this beam to this stay at here okay for example if you want to change the thickness of this uh, plate let's take here 5 millimeter then select this plate then click on modify to see the result you can see now the plate thickness should be 5 millimeter for example we're going to take 10 then click on modify you can see now this plate should be 10 millimeter but we record only 5 so i'm going to enter here 5 then click on modify similarly you can adjust the width and uh, height of this uh, stay of this plate so for example we're going to take here 85 millimeter width and 85 millimeter height then click on modify to see the result by default we have the 85 millimeter then select this plate and click on modify to see the result you can see now this plate width and length should be 85 millimeter uh, here also you can adjust the spacing uh, from bolt to this spacing for example we're going to take here 35 millimeter then click on modify to see the result you can see now this bolt should be 35 millimeter from edge like this next go to stay tap in stay you can adjust the bolt size and tolerance uh, from these options for example uh, now coming to these bolts you can adjust this bolt size from this option for example you can see for rafter to stay for rafter to stay uh, bolt dimension you need to enter here for example we're going to take 25 millimeter then click on modify you can see now this bolt size is 25 but we record only 13 millimeter means half inch so enter here 13 millimeter then click on modify you can see now the bolt size should be 13 millimeter means half inch okay let's take the tolerance here let's take tolerance 1 by 16 in it enter here this dimension should be in inches so enter here 1 by 16 inch then click on modify to see the result okay similarly you can adjust the bolt size at this location also for example you can see the for purlin to stay bolt dimension let's take here 13 millimeter means half inch then click on modify you can see now the bolt size should be 13 millimeter now coming to the tolerance let's take 1 by 16 inch then click on modify to see the result just like this okay for example uh, if you require by default we have the single angle stay like this if you want to create a double angle stay then you need to select this angle then click on here and select this double angle profile here in the type then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the double angle stay like this okay then click on modify apply okay right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse
okay you'll get like this that's it about how to create stay connection in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gunny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you